Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a quick look at the Austral Screen Door Lock 3 Point Locking Kit. Now this is the lock here, but I'm not going to um, go too much into the detail of the actual lock. We do have other videos for that. I'm going to take you into the actual 3 Point Locking Kit. So, first thing I'm going to do is identify the lock with you on what we're talking about here as far as the Austral 3 Point Locking, sorry, Austral Screen Door Lock. I'm going to show it to you here. So this is the lock right here. As you can see it says Austral along the side. This is from the Elegance range. On the back here you can see the three point locking connection. Okay, that's the lock. Of course it has handles and things like that which are all included in the lock. I'll go through with that a little bit later. This is your three point locking kit over here. It's all actually uh, taped up. I'll have to just quickly pull it apart. Okay. So it's apart, we've got screws going everywhere. So it comes with a few screws. Most likely you're going to get, um, well definitely, you're going to get two screws for the top, two screws for the bottom. These are your striker plates. Uh, these right here are your striker plates, they will be fitted onto the frame. These ones here are your cover plates, these would be fitted onto the door. Here is your lock itself. Got sticky tape on this one. This is your locking latch right here. Now this is a cable inside here. And you can see the connection right here. And as I pull and push this, I'll show you what that's doing on this side. I'm just going to pull it, push it. Sorry, push, pull, push, pull. That's that one there. Uh, notice the indentation there which says up. That's one. Then we have this one here. Notice this one has the arrow going this way. And I'm going to pull and push, pull and push. And I'm doing that with this cable connection here. So it's a cable inside a uh, protective coating here. Now it comes with this part here. This is uh, made out of die cast. This is the part that actually secures onto the lock and allows you to line everything up. So with this one here, you would be uh, interlocking these parts here. As you can see, that fits Sorry. Do it that way. As you can see, these parts fit very snugly into here. I could push it all the way in. And then as this is pulled and pushed, it will allow the three-point locking to lock and unlock. Now this is the back of the lock here. So we would be attaching this most likely like this. We'll be attaching it there. I can see uh, already that it's dropping into a hole right there and it's dropping into a hole right there. So that allows this carriage not to move. And then when these two are moved by the lock, it will allow locking and unlocking. Wrong side. Okay, so that will go into the lock in this type of position, if you can see that there. Now when the lock is pushed and locked and unlocked, if I can do it with my finger, if not I'll need to simulate what a cylinder would do. Remember I haven't pushed this down here, that's why it's not sort of clipping in. Okay, so I'm going to move it up, I'm going to move it down, move it up, move it down. And what's happening here is it's locking and unlocking. So every time that moves there, this part here is popping in and popping out. So you've got a top and bottom latch. You also have your face plates. You also have your instruction manual. You also have your screws. Now when you purchase from us, keep in mind that you need to purchase the lock, the cylinder and the three point locking kit all separate. That's the way they always go. And uh, when you do that, then you have the complete kit. If your three point locking kit is broken, just purchase that. If your cylinder's broken, you can just purchase that. If not, you can purchase all three. It's completely up to you. So that's a three-point locking kit by Austral. I don't think there's too much more I can kind of show you here. I'll give you a few measurements while we're here, just in case. So I'm going to go from the center of the screw right here to the center of the screw right here. 
just so you can try and identify it on your door. Uh, 54. The projection here, probably about 20, 22 mil. The width is a standard type of width, but I'll give you that anyway. Uh, you're talking about 10 mil. These plates simply fit over the top here, and you would secure that in your screen door. So you would put this in your screen door, then you would have a little bit of aluminium here, and then you'd come through with the screws over the top. These are metal screws, but they're okay for aluminium. They will tap themselves in, and they, by the look of it, they look like they're stainless. So they are nice, strong screws. So they simply just tap through right there. All other screws and things like that you'll find in your um, in your lock. So you'll get all the screws for your lock. Uh, the three-point locking kit just comes with what you see here, the screws, the lock latches, and the face plates. And once again, your striker plates. So these are the striker plate. As to why they have these little J shapes and things like this, I have no idea. Um, I don't think they're necessary, but they are there, and that is what they are. Okay, available from drlock.com.au, you can go to screen door locks or go to latch parts and you'll find this. This is a three point locking kit. If your one is broken, best to replace it and we have it on, on our lock shop at the moment. Thanks for watching.